All right, you guys, so it's time for a new video. This one is for my quality hair. They have a lace frontal that I'm gonna show you guys. Before that, they did send an elastic band, two wig caps, so that way you can get the right color, a travel size hairbrush, and some of these humongous false lashes. Not my stuff. So this is the 14 inch light yakky lace frontal, and this is more or less supposed to be a bob hairstyle. I didn't bleach it or anything, I just sewed in an elastic band that I already have. And because I forgot to bleach it, I'm just going to use my um, Lancome Translucent Powder on the inner portion of the cap. The knots in the unit are not bad at all, so that's a plus. As well as that, as the hair texture is a nice light yakky texture. It's not that silky type, it's actually light yakky. Um, I think the density is between 130 and 150. I can't really remember, so I'll definitely post it in the description box below. So all I'm going to do right now is just rub some of that pressed powder on the entire front portion of the lace. Not really sure why I did that, but it's an easy removal. You can either dust it off or you can just wash it off. So now that I've went ahead and do that, did that, let's go ahead and put this wig on and prep it. Now you guys know I don't really do the bobs, but this 14 inch is kind of lengthy, so it really doesn't remind me of a bob. It actually reminds me of my own hair once it's blow dried. And I'm not like really too short of a bob wearer, so I think this one is better for me. So now I'm just making sure that the ear tabs are not too big and that they fit properly. Instead of just cutting them all the way off, I just found a new type of method because I tried it on my own lace frontals that I create on my own because I really don't like to cut the side tabs off too much because it does help lay the wig down. So what I do now is, as you guys can see right here, I'm just going to push the, push the hair back and I'm not going to be doing any baby hairs in this unit because, you know, not everybody wants to do baby hairs. So I'm just going to part it where I want the actual lace to stop and where it may be too big at, especially by the ears, because it's kind of hard to wear it like that when it's too big behind the ears. So I'm going to just use a clip and clip it up. And once again, I'm going to take a rat tail comb and I'm just going to make sure that the part is correct because I don't want to cut off too much lace or too much of the hair. And I'm just going to cut just a tiny, tiny bit right above my ear of where the lace actually lands. So that way I have kind of like a little U-shaped indent in my wig on the side of where my actual ear is, you know, just actually my ear is. Um, and that's about it. Normally some people just cut off the entire portion of the ear tabs, but I don't want to cut the entire thing off, so I'm just going to do it a different way now. And this actually makes it fit a lot better because it's still on the ear tabs and it kind of like snugs your ear. So as you guys see, once again, I'm just taking the hair and I'm just making sure that I'm not going to cut up too much of it so that way it can lay flat against my ear plus also go around my ear on the top and then back down. And as you guys see, that's the little piece that I'm going to cut off. And once I cut that piece off, the actual lace will not land on the front beginning of my ear. It will actually land around it. And then I have the space in the back portion, as you guys can see. You may need to chop off just a tiny bit more because even though it may be a tiny bit, it still will help. You know, it still can alter the wig from just fitting properly. Now that I went ahead and did that, I'm just going to use my mousse, of course, because you guys know how I feel about this Dollar Tree mousse. It's amazing, and also it's going to allow me to adhere my lace frontal. And I'm just going to spread that right on the edges of the wig and towards the back a little bit. And that's exactly where the wig will lay flat at and will be snug to my head. Now, as I got, as I told you guys, I'm not going to do any baby hairs in this unit, but I will do two sideburns, one for each side, of course. And I like to do the sideburns because they do help help hold. The unit down so you just want to keep that in mind if you do like to have sideburns on a wig or you want to make some of your own then they will actually help hold the wig in place so I don't want them too long so I'm just going to take my eyebrows tweezers or eyebrow um, trimmers and I'm going to just I just cut that off and then I'm going to take my styling mousse again and I'm just going to put just a little bit that I had left on my hand, you know, for good measuring purposes. And along with that, the infamous 
pump it up super hold spray this is the super hold formula because there is regular and I'm going to sculpt and just shape that actual sideburn I want to make sure there's no baby hairs or no long hairs I'm just going to sculpt it and the amount that you have as a sideburn depends on you as a person Now it's time to just blow dry that mousse and hairspray dry. So I'm just taking my rat tail comb and as you guys see here, I am kind of like pushing the hairs from behind the actual hairline. So I have my rat tail comb behind the actual hairline and I'm just pushing them towards the front a little bit as I blow dry. So that way it doesn't look so straight and jagged and it doesn't look so, you know, just like a perfect hairline. And that's all I'm doing is pushing the hairs downwards so that way it looks more or less natural. And I'm also going to go back to the opposite side. I'm going to do the exact same method, which is basically just cutting some of the sideburns so that way I can have my sideburns. Once again, the same thing, but here you guys will see me. I'm taking the nozzle of the actual blow dryer and I'm pushing it back into the hair. Basically, I'm pressing on the hair in the front, just allowing the baby hairs, or not excuse me, the baby hairs, but the actual mousse and hairspray just hold a little bit better and also kind of smoothing the hair down so it gives me less work and it also gives the hair a lot more just flow as well as that as it just allows it to lay a lot flatter in the front. So that is the reason why I use the nozzle. If you don't have a nozzle for your blow dryer, you can definitely take like a comb and just push it backwards. I wouldn't use the actual teeth of the comb. I would use like the back of the comb. So that way it just works as a nozzle. Now that that's all done, I'm just brushing out some of the actual hairspray and mousse out of the sideburns because I don't want them too hard. And I'm just going to make me a part in this unit. I decided to go for a right side part. And opposed to that, I'm going to take my wax stick right here and I'm just going to smooth the top portion down. This does help with flyaways, but it also helps with just smoothing the hair down as well as straightening it with the hot comb that I'm using. Um, the temperature is on 200, or not 200, 20 degrees. That's the highest that it can go on this actual hot comb. I did get this from Walmart. It was 20 bucks. Cheap. You know, you can always go on Amazon and get one. So for the quality of the hair, it's actually really nice. Um, it looks very natural. It looks very realistic. I mean, it is realistic. It is real hair. It is real 100% human hair um, and virgin hair. But as I mean by realistic, is it just looks so realistic for us African women, especially with the texture. The cap is made really well. Okay. It's affordable. You know, I've never heard of this company until just recently. And so far, I do like what I see. Just for me, just alone using just the pressed powder in the unit made the knots look great because there really wasn't any issue with the knots in general. You know, so in all actuality, I would not have had to um, bleach it. As well as that, as I did not tweeze or pre-tweeze the edges, it did come pre-plucked. So as you guys see, the edges are a little bit thin. 
which is great because I don't like it when it's too thick on the edges and it gives you like that boxy sumo rest of it. So as for the um, actual yakky texture, um, it reminds me a lot of um, relaxed African American hair. Um, it was super easy to um, pass through with the, um, excuse me, with the hot comb. And this is what the edges look like without the baby hairs and that's the look that I was going for today. Normally I will do a little bit of baby hairs, but like I said, not everybody wants them. And it still looks natural, so I do like that. Looks like you just got a fresh perm, just came from the salon, and you are good to go. Now this lace frontal does have plenty of parting, so that is also a great thing. Um, excuse me, not a lace frontal, a full lace. I did say lace frontal, but it's actually a full lace. Okay, and it is a glueless full lace fit which is amazing because you can part this unit just about anywhere. You can wear it in a ponytail, a high bun, some cornrows, whatever you want to do, you can do a lot of different styles with a full lace wig. So Google's full lace wig is actually my favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll definitely link all of the information below. As you guys see, it's on super tight. So, you know, hey, I do like when it is, you know, just, I do believe this is a lace frontal. Um, you know what guys, I will post the information below if it's a full lace or lace frontal, but I do believe it's a lace frontal just from looking at the side. But the hold is really well with the mousse and the actual pumped up hairspray. So you guys don't knock it until you try it just using the mousse and the actual pump it up super hold hairspray. I'm telling you guys, you'd be so happy that you did, you won't have to use the mousse anymore. Okay. So, I love you guys, stay fever and be delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share this video with all of your social media friends and family. Let me know what you think of this no baby hair style bob from My Quality Hair. And I will see you guys in the next one video. Bye.